should your immediate denture fit you the day of your extractions? My answer is no, and let me tell you why. I'm also gonna show you some footage of how they make an immediate denture, so you don't worry. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to worry. My immediate denture, the day of my extractions, it was too big. It, it was too big for me, and I knew that eventually it was it was going to be okay. Uh, eventually, the dentist told me, it's going to be a little big the day that you get it, but you're going to come back and see me, and then we're going to make adjustments and do soft relines, and we're going to get that denture to fit you so you can tolerate it the next year. And that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what happened. My immediate denture... It, it was way too big for me. Oh, not way too big for me, but it was, it was big and it was bulky and it was, it, it, it was just, it, it just was. The reason for an immediate denture is so they send you home with teeth. They know that you're going to need fixed up. They know that that denture isn't going to be perfect, but the dentist, if you choose to get an immediate denture, they send you home with teeth. They want to send you home with teeth so you will look presentable. Not that you won't look presentable without teeth, but you know what I'm saying. So let me show you how they make this immediate denture and maybe you'll understand more. So what I did was I got impressions a couple weeks before I had all my teeth extracted. So I had all of my teeth were on my impressions and then they take them to the lab, my impressions, and this is what happens. They take the teeth off, watch this. Okay, so you can see they're, they're removing the teeth off of your impressions that you had taken. That, that's what they're doing right now. All right, so there's your impressions with all your teeth removed off of that. So then they're going to make your immediate dentures to this frame, to this impression, to this, this cast. So they're not going to fit you because you're going to have no more teeth in your mouth and if you think about it, your teeth hold up your gums a little bit, you know. So when they pull teeth around here, your gums are just going to go and they're going to shrink just a little bit. They're going to. So this denture isn't going to fit. All right. So now you can see that they're putting teeth on that, that model. That, that's what they're doing. So that is how your immediate denture is made. So don't get upset. Don't get worried. Don't get, just don't get worried when you go to the dentist and come home with a, this denture that's too big because it's not going to fit you. It's not going to fit you. In fact, the only thing you need to worry about this next four weeks or so is healing, just healing. Your denture is not going to fit you in those four weeks. In fact, I think I got my soft realign when I was three or four weeks in, when all my extractions were healed, I went and got my first soft reline. That's when I did that. And guess what? My denture fit great. It felt, it was great. It was wonderful for like two weeks. And then it was like, oh, this is getting too big. But now what are we gonna do? Because that's gonna happen too. One day it's gonna fit great. And then the next day it's not gonna fit because your gums are shrinking. And they're gonna be shrinking quickly 10, 11, 12 months after that, they're going to continue to shrink your rest, the rest of your life, but at a slower rate because the, the mass of the shrinking is gone. So don't worry if your immediate denture doesn't fit you the day of your extractions. Don't go tell the dentist, hey, it doesn't fit me. You need to make me a new one unless it's really wonky and the teeth are crooked and if it's really wonky. But give that dentist some time to, to get it right. Just because dentists want you to have a nice smile. They do. When the dentist gets your dentures back from the lab, he is the one that is now responsible of making the work right. Making the work that this man made that you didn't meet and he doesn't have any idea what your face looks like. So your dentist now has to make these teeth right for you. So give him some time. And if it's, unless it's really wonky, of course, you know, then, then that's a problem. But give him some time to let it work. I did that with my dentist and, and we got it working. You can go back and look at all my videos and, and see that my immediate denture, I, I figured it out along the way. It was annoying. It was annoying as heck because it's like, 
now what do I do? <laughs> you know, but we figured it out along the way together, actually, and we made things work. Don't worry if your adventure doesn't fit. It's okay. It's okay that day. You know, it, it's okay. Oh, also one more thing. Follow your dentist's guidelines. Whatever your dentist tells you to do for your immediate denture, either leave it in all the time, you leave it in, take it out, whatever, whatever your dentist protocol is, that's what you do. My dentist had a protocol that I was to leave my dentures in for the first two weeks, day in and day out, day, night, all, all the things, just all the things. Just take them out to rinse my mouth out with salt water, clean my denture, and in it goes again. And I'm really glad that I did that because it got me more used to this foreign object in my mouth. And if this foreign object is making you gag, once it fits well and it's secure in your mouth and it's not moving, you'll quit gagging. So give that some time too. Baby steps. This is all baby steps. Like, baby steps. Alright, I'll see you in my next video.